What's up everybody, I'm your host Joseph and welcome to Fiction Ink Flow. Today we're doing another episode of Comic Breakdowns for DC Free Comic Book Day book, Absolute Power. A preview to a epic event. Let's go. Our story kicks off with Failsafe, an android that Batman created, which is supposed to take over if he should ever die. That would pick up the mission right where he left off. The problem is, it's been taken over by Batman's alternate personality, Zen Ua, who has no regulation about killing and just wants to complete the mission no matter what. We jump to the former Hall of Justice, which is now called the Hall of Order, and we see some villains running it. It's kind of been turned into a supermax prison. And we see this person, Haywire, who's about to be experimenting on. And they have Failsafe telling him that he wants him to check out what's going on. And he's talking to this guy called Clock King. Clock King walks Haywire through this Supermax prison and lets him know that Failsafe has the one who put them in there. And he was like, who is this Failsafe? He's like Batman and the Terminator crossed together. And so he's like, who's in charge? And we see that it's Amanda Waller. All right, none other than the leader of Task Force X, Suicide Squad, who now has a personal vendetta against all superheroes. Haywire begins to freak out and think, oh no, did she put a bomb in my head like she did everybody else? Like, oh no, we have nanates now, it's really simple. It just builds itself in your brain, we don't even have to put a bomb in there anymore. And she has other people on her payroll like Black Alice, Harley Quinn, Deadeye, and a few others. Haywire asks Clock King, how did he spring him? He said, how did Amanda do it? He said, well, I'm going to tell you a little secret. If you look under Shell Corporation and keep digging, you'll find that Amanda Waller is the person who bought Strikers Island, Black Gate, Iron Heights, and Arkham Tower. So, in other words, she is the owner of every meta prison in the entire DC Universe. Haywire is like, wait, she has an endless supply of suicide agents? Like, no, 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 nothing like that. You're in for something special. And he said, wait a minute, we've been infiltrated. Then he sees none other than one of the mysterious backers, Green Arrow himself. And he's talking to Amanda about what is this going to work or not. And Amanda's like, look, I don't want your constructive criticism. I want to know if what I'm playing is going to work. It's all you're here for to make sure it does. Haywire goes back to questioning Clock King saying, well then, what are they building here? He's like, I'm not the real, I don't know. That's the point. She makes sure that no one knows the whole picture. Everyone is kind of kept a little bit in the dark. So before Haywire can ask any more questions, Clock King tells him to stand here, don't move. We're going to test you out a little bit. And then Failsafe takes over and says, we want to measure your capabilities to the fullest extent of their power. He tells Clock King to leave the room and now we're getting ready to get started. Now, Failsafe informs Haywire to, like, when I close your door, I want you to open up on your target. Give it everything you got. And he says, okay. So Amanda's looking and saying, okay, he's one of the most powerful electro on Earth. I hope this works. And Failsafe's saying, this is good, but you're holding back. Your target's just drinking up all electricity. It's not enough. You have to give it more. Go overload. So Haywire does go and say he uses all his power, but he's noticing it's also draining him and he's begging to be let out. He's like, open the door, please, I'm begging you. And then we get this automatopoeia sound effect and he explodes, obviously, killing him instantly. And Amanda's disappointed, like the final piece is not working. And Failsafe is like, it's the same as before. The superpower has had some kind of feedback and it's unchanged. We gotta figure this out. And then we get a shot of all the people who have tried this before and who will. The list reads Joke, Fire King, Zebra Man, Haywire, Matter Mister, and Dr. Phosphorus. We see a frustrated Amanda go and saying she's so close and wondering if this is really going to work. She goes to this person she has locked up called Dreamer and she says, you know the plan, you know the deal. I need you to tell me, is what I'm planning going to work? And Dreamer is like, I, I can't really see, I, I don't know. And it's like, you know what, try again. Will this work? Tell me my future. And then, folks, we get the image of a lifetime. Boom! Dreamer's image. The Justice League locked up, fell safe, Amanda, and a bunch of other robots are up watching them. And they have, like, are parading the Justice League through the streets. They are totally enslaved. This is the future that Amanda wants to happen. And this precog Dreamer has just shown her her reality. However, Dreamer does not tell Amanda what she saw. And she's like, you're lying to me because she says she sees nothing. She's like, tell me the truth. And then Failsafe interrupts. He was like, there's a spacecraft, an extraterrestrial origin coming into the atmosphere. It's carrying everything we need to continue our plans. It's what we require. And she's like, okay, well then, let's go get it. And that is our preview to this summer's upcoming DC event, Absolute Power. This is a must pick up if you are a fan of DC, Brainiac, Failsafe, Batman, the whole thing. This will give you everything you need to know. 
I now want to show you some of the Androids that will be taking over. We have a Superman one that's pretty dope looking. That's one of the Androids. We also have a Aquaman version. Once again, these are all like a combination of Brainiac and Amazo. We have the Failsafe, of course, the original. Then we have a Flash version, which I really like. And then we have a final one, a Wonder Woman, who is really holding her down. All right. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time on Fictioning Flow. Peace. If you don't have it, you are truly missing it. We are talking about Fiction Team Flow. What's up? We are talking about Fiction Team Flow. What's up? If you don't have it, you are truly missing it.